little children, let me whisper in your ear. I'm gonna poke you in the face and slap you in your ear. What's going on, everybody? My name is Chris, and welcome back to some unoriginal craft. Um, as you see, there is six nines all over the place. And it is very beautiful times. Spawn is normal. <laughs> Okay, so these 69s are actually hippos doing, Mr. Green Hippo. Um, and the reason behind it is, holy crap. This is cool. The reasoning behind the 69s is because Mr. Green Hippo had his 69th video on his channel. Whose portal was this? To spawn? I thought it said to Satan for a second. <laughs> uh, I believe this is my tunnel. Anyway, so the nether hub's actually been redone, and this is cool. It's like sunken in. How come this is not centered? Hmm? It's a nice little dirt. Am I going the right way? It appears I. Holy crap! It's freaking dark in here. So, the guys, meaning Kenny, Mr. Green Hippo. I'm not sure who else. I know Judo was in the call. I don't know if he actually helped or not, though. CJ, maybe? Um. They, um, blah, blah, blah. They created a new nether hub because ours was getting too small. <laughs> it was way too small. And now, holy crap, this is massive! And awesome. Kind of empty. The roof needs something. Uh, but maybe I, even I could help out with that, to be honest. Is he, are they talking to me? I, I guess, I don't know. I did say I was recording. Whenever I'm recording, assume that I'm, I can't answer you because, you know, busyness. CJ fuckface. Uh, I believe I've talked about CJ, so I'm not going to talk about him again, um, because, you know, I hate him. Whoa. Get down the via ghost. Let's go see. Let's just, oh, okay, it goes down. I was like, am I going cracked way here? I feel like I get lost from this really easily. Um, now, the only problem with the new nether hub is apparently gas spawn in it. And as per usual, it seems, instead of actually doing a building episode, I'm just going to run around and explore. <laughs> Uh, although I do have things to build, things to build, things to do. Once again, I unfortunately have not logged on since the last time I recorded. I gotta get better at this. I keep saying that and I keep wanting to, but like, uh, all this time, like I always made fun of, or not made fun of, but I thought bad of people that, that like don't have enough time, they say they don't have enough time to record because I always think that's bullshit when people say, I don't have enough time to record guys, I'm too busy with life. Because I'm just like, do you seriously not have 20 minutes to just sit down and press record and just talk for 20 minutes? I mean, that's not difficult for me, but it has been recently. Like last night, um, I had a meeting at work and I got home at like 9.30 and then I promised my dad I'd watch Game of Thrones with him, the season finale of season four, which by the way, was freaking fantastic. And then, like, by the time that was over, that was already 10.30, and I had, like, promised, well, I didn't promise, but I'm like, I have to record Minecraft today, or Unoriginal Craft. And it never happened, just because, yeah, I was super freaking busy. And... Uh, <laughs> I hope CJ doesn't mind that CJ... Actually, I might even block that out in case he doesn't want it. I didn't tell him they're recording, so this fault has freaking Skypes and freaking chat. Uh, maybe I'll block it out anyways. So it seems I ran all this way for nothing. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's been really freaking hard to record. And then, like, I have friends. I have, like, a girlfriend I have to go hang out with a lot. So it's like, I'm very rarely home anymore. And it's really sad because it's like, I want to freaking record. Although the days I do, like, I, the reason I've been able to keep up with, like, Super Mario World and Ocarina of Time is because I could record those in bulk. Like, I could just sit down for, like, two hours and record, like, five or six episodes. And since I, like, um, post those, I'll post one a day, then the next one a day. Well, did I go the wrong way here? Oh, no. Holy crap, I didn't even see. That's dangerous. <laughs> um... But yeah, like, Ocarina of Time and Super Mario World, I could just sit down and record for, like, an hour or two, and I have, like, five or six episodes to pump out. With Unoriginal Craft, like, normally I cut a lot in it. No, I can normally only record one at a time, just because I, I don't really like the idea of recording a whole bunch of Minecraft episodes in a row. Because you get, like, you, you, you die. <laughs> you don't die, obviously, but, you know, you get burnt out really quickly. What the heck? I am so freaking... Oh, this is because of the gas. Okay. I was like, I don't remember running through fire before. It's gas, gas problems. Come on, there we go. 
And it seems I need to rebuild this. And the gas is going to freaking murder my butt if I don't freaking hurry up here. So, I'm hoping that I can get better with this. I'm still trying, guys. Don't worry. I'm not just, like, you know, giving up on this server. Is that CJ? Does he have full diamond armor? No, it's Kenny. Okay. Man, she's totally going to murder my butt. Don't touch. Holy crap, that leg spike, though. Um, but yeah, so, I guess today, I do gotta move my, my nether hub, or my nether path down here. It seems the general consensus is, is this random block's missing all the time? I don't understand how the heck that happens. Suck my D, beach. I'm not a beach. Whose tunnel was taken? Oh, was this Nova? I believe this is Nova's tunnel. Yeah, I believe this was Nova's tunnel. Could we go through it still? Oh, we can. Okay. I see. Everything makes sense now. Everything is wonderful. I'm still never going to understand why Mr. Green Hippo even bothered with the portal. <laughs> I guess for his nether um, related room. I find that kind of silly that he, he put one here. But I, I, I don't know. I guess whatever. <laughs> I don't really care. Um, You know what we could do? We could clean up spawn. Kenny threatened to kill anyone who dared take down the 69s, but I ain't scared of no beach. <clears throat> Excuse my language. <laughs> They're coming down. I'm sorry. Even though this is... Well, this is a prank on spawn, and this is my town. This is what I... I don't really know... Like, if a prank is committed on the entire spawn town, do I... Is it like my responsibility to clean it up even just because you know it's my server or is it like the entire town's responsibility to clean it up because it's like you know a community server i don't really freaking know i guess i'm cleaning up this time though i'll clean it up this time and destroy a whole bunch of nether rack as well <laughs> i should probably grab some other blocks hmm so like hard to pile up with but i do have some nether rack and i probably have some dirt or something do i have dirt i do indeed See, look, look, this is the same inventory I ended last episode off with, so that just goes to show, and I haven't really been on too much. <sighs> Not by choice, though. Just need to get cleaned up. So, how you guys been doing? Um, school ends now, doesn't it? At least in my area. I know in a lot of, like, uh, I used to have, like, a friend in the southern states where she got off of school in May. Like, early May or something like that. I was like, what? Like, for me, school has always ended um, late June. Like, June 28th, I believe. I don't know what today is, but it's exam week. So, holy crap, there's a lot. <laughs> this might take a freaking while. But yeah, so it's exam week, and I guess some, a lot of people aren't even do exams, I guess. As in, like, they're too young for them, or etc., etc., um, but, yeah, I got really freaking lucky with exams because, um, I would always have, I, actually, I would normally have one really difficult semester, that, that 69 is going to be paying the dick to do, I wonder where that portal takes us, I kind of want to see, oh, there is one on here, okay, so, yeah, I've had, I've always had, like, one really hard semester and then one really easy semester, like, I'll have math, science, um, English in one semester, and I'll just have, like, gym, and, I don't know, insert easy classes here that I can't think of off the top of my head, like, electronics, I always thought those were easy exams, um, so I've always gotten lucky, I guess if you want, I'll, if you, guess if you'd want to call it, I prefer, I, like, I just call it lucky because I prefer to have, like, one really hard semester than one really easy semester, especially when the really easy semester is the last semester of the year, and look at these skeletons just all chilling here. Good lord, this is going to be... I kind of want this obsidian, to be honest. Well. I guess we'll start doing... You see those sick sick parkour moves? Yeah, I'm pretty good at this game. Whatever. Pff, you don't even know, yo, bro. <laughs> I wonder if we're going to get any comments of with us cleaning this up. Oh, but this is obsidian. Do I really want to clean this up off screen? You know, especially when I do that. When I'm like pretty much near the end of destroying a block. Oh god, CJ. Oh god, that message. Stop. Just stop. Just stop. Just stop. <laughs> um, but yeah, so. Is there anything else I could really tell you guys right now? Oh 
boy. See, see, it's like stuff like this is like, do I cut this out now? <laughs> They're talking about really sensitive topics and that is bad news bears and everyone's entitled to their opinion, blah, blah, blah. But that's still kind of awkward and not really awkward. Damn it! Not really awkward, but kind of strange. You, sir, need to get out of here. I'm okay. Not the best thing to joke about. There we go. There we go. There, I defended if there just happens to be a homosexual watching. <laughs> uh, okay. You better be sorry, you asshole. This guy, I, I don't really mind that much. Is, is homosexual an offensive term? I don't really know, to be honest. <laughs> Okay, well, this is just getting awkward now because I, I never know what to say with those, this kind of stuff. So, I guess I'll... Well, you know what? No, let's not cut here because... I do want to come up here. <laughs> come up here. And then... Go up here. I thought he's talking to me for a second. What if I punched you off right now? I thought they were right here. Are they? They are not. Whoa! I'm just waiting for like Kenny to see me destroying these 69s and make a comment or something. Where does this take me? Is this just Mr. Green? Mr. Green Hippos? Oh, I see names. Mr. Green Hippos portal here. Does this take me back there? That'd be fine. It's not going to though. It's of course it's not going to. Of course not. Nope. Alright, so. Until at least I think of something to talk about. I guess I'll talk to you guys in a second. I'm on top of the 69 right now. I'm just looking at it spawn. Does it look nice? Oh my god, there's a 69 on the ground too. I didn't even see that. <laughs> we are slowly making progress here. We just gotta go to all the shops and get rid of them. After I did the 69, that's the freaking obsidian 69. And I'm front. This seriously took like 20 minutes to do. Just take these down. Take these obsidian things down. I honestly feel bad for like Kenny when I pranked her and put obsidian all over her house. Cause just doing these freaking giant 69 in the air took forever. I think a big part of the issue though was just because it's in the in the sky and I need to like pillar up to it and it's really freaking annoying. Can I make that jump, please? There we go. Okay, taking care to make this. Dang it, look decent as well. There'll forever be a gap in those leaves where. Hippo's obsidian break took place. Rip in peace. Rip in peace leaves. So the town looks bare again. <laughs> no, it doesn't. I surprised no one's built here yet. I guess maybe it's probably just because it has to be built up. Hmm. And still our crops. Dang it. And still our crops are getting crushed somehow magically. Even though there's fences here now to prevent mobs from jumping on them. Although I didn't really care too much about it. Apparently other people did. I think it was Kenny that built that fence as well, maybe? Yeah, I'm freaking out. Um, I guess I probably could have taken down the rest of these 69s, but this is just my prank clean up episode. I'm not gonna even upload this to the Prank Wars playlist, or like consider this a Prank War thing. Because it's not really a prank on me so much as it is the town, and I'm just the one cleaning it up. This was I, this actually... This prank, quote-unquote... Well, I don't know why I said quote-unquote, it is a prank. <laughs> Has been up here for a few, well, I was gonna say a few weeks, but no, it's been up here for like maybe a week or two. It was up here last time I recorded, and I'm actually pretty shocked no one else took this down. I was, once I finished recording and came to spawn and realized this is ha this had happened, I was like, um, well, crap, I wish I was still recording an episode so I could show this off, but no. I thought for sure it would be gone by the time like I recorded another episode, but alas, it is not. <laughs> now the 69 will just be in the ground in grass. Until the grass grows in anyways. Too bad grass didn't grow this quickly in, in real life. And then it stayed this short. I mean, I know there's long grass, but I mean, if you punch that once, it disappears forever. Not this grass. Or not the real world grass. Let's see, look at... Oh, never mind. It's not already forming. Through glass plant panes. I... I don't know. I don't think so that the guests can see players through glass panes, but I know they can't break them. Um, they can't. Oh, maybe, maybe, I don't know. It's either that guests can't see gl through glass panes, 
and they can break the glass, or they uh, can see them and they can't break the glass. Is that confusing? That's probably really freaking confusing. I don't really know. Uh, all right. I guess I could talk about my my ex, not my like ex girlfriend, but um, there's a there's a fair in my city called the Red River X, and I was supposed to go last Saturday. Um, I've actually been let's playing long enough that this will probably be the third time that I've um talked about the X. To be honest, huh. But anyway, so I was supposed to go to the X last Saturday, and I didn't end up going. I wanted to go really freaking badly, and I had already bought a ticket. My friends didn't want to go because it was raining out, and I'm actually really freaking angry at them. Because uh, at the time, I thought um, I work the next Saturday after that, and we only go on Saturdays just so we could stay the longest. But they didn't want to freaking go because it was raining, and I was like, guys, this is seriously the only day I could go because I work the next Saturday. And I didn't even get a freaking message back. I put in a group conversation with the friends I was going with. I didn't get a freaking message back. I was so angry. Like, seriously, it's... Who broke this flower? I have anything in my mailbox? Does anyone, anyone have anything in their mailbox? No. Unless it's stayed updated. Why is Zoe on the bottom? Why does Zoe have two mailboxes? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, that's strange. That's funny, though. Hi, potato. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but am I wrong to get angry about that? I don't... I think... Like, if there was a big reason... Like, the reason we were going is because it was raining... Actually, it wasn't even really raining. It was raining off and on. Um, it was supposed to storm, but it wasn't. But it would like, it would rain for five minutes and then it would stop raining. And then, But it was a really gloomy day. So I understand that they don't want to go and they'd rather go on a day that, you know, it was nice and sunny out. But, like, this was... That was... Uh, what I thought was at the time my only day I could go and I told them that and they still didn't want to go And they, they said they don't want to waste their tickets on a day. That I was crappy out. I'm like really like what so I'm just gonna go by myself now <sighs> So mad am I wrong to get angry at that though? I don't know So I don't work this Saturday like I thought I did so I, uh, I called in work and I asked them and they was like no You don't work. I was like, okay awesome. And then I told my friends that you know um, never mind, I don't work, guess we go next Saturday, grumble, 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 and now looking at the weather forecast, it's supposed to rain next Saturday as well, my life sucks, so I hope we go, because seriously, ugh, the X is like, I look forward to the Red River X every year, it's like my number one look forward to thing, it'd be really sad if like, well, I'd still end up going, but it's like, I would only end up going with probably my girlfriend instead of, like, my girlfriend and my friends. And, you know, I'd rather go with everybody. But, yeah, I'm pretty freaking butthurt about that. <laughs> but the thing is, it's supposed to rain this Saturday, too. Like, last Saturday when we were supposed to go and it was raining, like, I looked at the long-term weather forecast, and rain was predicted for the Saturday after and the Saturday after that. And I can't go next Saturday because it, 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 um, I, I work. Like, I actually checked that I made absolute sure that I do work the Saturday, the next Saturday. Not this Saturday, but Saturday after. So if we don't go this Saturday, then I don't even know what the heck I'm going to do. And my life will suck. But seriously, it's only supposed to, like, the entire week is supposed to be nice and sunny. Except every Saturday for the next three weeks. Every Saturday is supposed to be raining and storming. It's like, seriously? I'm so mad. <laughs> I also don't even think I'm that mad at my friends for, like, pretty much saying they'd go without me just because they don't want to go on a rainy day. I'm more mad at the fact that it's freaking raining and I hate my life and... <laughs> I don't really... Um... Let's show this. I don't think I actually showed this, actually. So this is... Uh, Zoe's... Is that, is that how you pronounce that? Z Zoe. I've been trying not to say Zoe's name just because I don't know how, how he wants us to say it. <laughs> Uh, this is his logging service. Oh, I did show this, actually. But, when CJ was accepted, CJ made an exact copy, including the basement, which I find hilarious. Like, even these cobblestone placements are the exact same. The chests are the same, which is kind of sad. It would have been fantastic if they were, the, if it was, like, a carbon copy and, like, the chests had the exact same stuff in it, but no. Maybe the other chests had, like, freaking crap in it that can easily be 
copied like I don't know diamond pickaxe with unbreaking one and efficiency four on it or something silly like that. Uh, seems to be our beacons working again, which is great. Is it? Yeah, we, we got speed. I know last time I was here it wasn't working for some reason. I have no freaking idea why. And I apologize, Kenny's talking, but I'm not really responding because I'm recording. And I was I did say I was recording, and then I stopped responding for a bit, and then I started talking a bit. That was when I was. Cleaning up the obsidian in the sky. That took freaking forever. <laughs> but now I'm not with Sparty anymore again. Sorry. So since I don't really explain exactly what the Red River X is. It's a fair and it has a whole bunch of rides. And like, you know, a whole bunch of vendors there selling you crap. And, you know, like, very typical fair stuff. But the thing with living in a northern city, I guess, if you want to call it. Actually, it's more like just a continental city. As in, it's in the min middle of the continent. Like, my city I live in, Winnipeg, um, there's a spot in it that's, like, the exact middle of North America. Like, the continent North America. I don't know if that I don't know if that's just the land above water or the land beneath water as well, but, I don't know, I thought that was really freaking cool. Um, but the thing is, if you don't know... Cities in the center, like, away from oceans, tend to be a lot colder than cities that are closer to the oceans. Like, even though everyone thinks Canada's cold, it has minus 9 billion degree winters, that's only really true for the middle parts of Canada, which is, you know, of course, where I live in. Unlike the, um, the coasts and all that, like, uh, British Columbia, for example, they get, like, 15 degree weather all year round. That's in Celsius, obviously, not Fahrenheit, because you guys, you Americans use silly measurements to measure temperatures Celsius is better <laughs> um but yeah I wish to fix you there we go um but yeah so unfortunately living in like the center of the continent means we don't get much for you can't build like roller coasters or parks because you, those can't really be run in the winter and the cold breaks things down and makes them really unsafe Oh, bye, Kenny. Bye! So, I don't know. I wish, like, uh, we do have a mini uh, amusement park here, but it's literally for toddlers. Like, it was built for toddlers. It's called Tinkertown. I don't know if that's, like, a brand thing or just a Winnipeg thing, though. I don't really freaking know. I guess we'll take down the 60... I sh you know what? I'm leaving that 69 on top of Kenny's house. Why? Because it just totally fits her personality completely. <laughs> I am not touching that one. Did I show that house? I'm not really sure. I don't remember talking when I went in there. Well, I'm going to call it up. So I was like, look at this king chicken over here. So as you see, my levels are actually kind of different. And that's because I was dying when I was cleaning up the 69 in the sky. Gosh, dog, diggity, dang it. And as soon as I spawn, what's the first thing I see? <gasps> A giant six down my face. I spawned like right here. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I guess that's here then. And what's with the world not loading? Look at that. You can see through the 69s, the portal through dimensions. Oh my god. So magical. This is about to be cleaned up. This might as well be like put into my prank thing. Since this is all I did this episode. Might as well go and see where CJ's portal was in the nether hub. But it looks really good, guys. Uh, I'm guessing at least one of you is watching from the server. Um, or have made it this far. <laughs> but if you actually happen to watch it this far and you're in the, our Skype our Skype chat, say, um, bada bing bing, ching chong, no, that's racist. <laughs> sure, let's go with that, bada bing bing, ching chong. Is that bad? That might be bad. Uh, look at all those, I think those are torches, those little lines you see. Is there 69 here as well? No, there's not. Is it? Is there one beneath here as well? There is not, that's kind of shocking to be honest. Huh. Hippo sucks poo poo. That was me, I think, that wrote that. That totally sounds like something. Kenny loves Joy Jay's voice. Indeed, she does. Alright. Um. Crap, what was I gonna say? I don't remember. I guess I'll just call it an episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel, feel free to leave likes when we're ready. My name's Chris. Look at that floating skeleton and zombie. When I put my cursor like this, like in the bottom right where they are, they look all weird. They look all like warped. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I guess I'll work on my house in the next episode. Or maybe my skeleton spawner. 
I was gonna do that this episode, but I didn't really know what I could do there. I guess I could work on the floor and the basement still, but I don't know. I did that last episode. I didn't really feel like that episode really flowed too well, so I kind of wanted to avoid doing that two times a roll, man. Maybe I'll do like a. Maybe I'll have someone in my uh, an original craft episode next week. I haven't done like a one-on-one -on -one thing with anyone yet. Hmm. Maybe I should do that then. I see you, Zombo, on my right. He's far away. Although, he looks really close. When I put the camera like that, he looks like he's like five blocks away. Probably more like ten. Oh, I look directly at him. He's like twenty. Haha, <laughs> what a dumb zombie. Can he see me? He looks like he's making a beeline for me. I don't understand why the world doesn't load. Also, I've noticed obsidian is really freaking difficult to see at night in the sky. Except blends in so well. You know, let's go kill that zombie. I am calling right now. I am totally getting chainmail from him. Where is he? He's right there. I'm Chris the zombie hunter. He probably already sees me, to be honest. Where are you? I'm not doing too good at zombie hunting. Oh. Excuse me, princess. Alright. You must die. What the heck is this? Holy crap! The hell is this? A spawner? What is this? A zombie spawner? Oh, it's a spider spawner. <laughs> oh, silly zombies. Where does this lead me to? This lead outside? I mean, there's grass blocks everywhere. No? Clay! Welp, I didn't do this episode off like five minutes ago, but I'm still talking. <laughs> As per usual. Oh. Interesting. Can I get up here now? If anyone sees this, you know what's down there. Death and doom and probably destruction. I must eat. I must eat. Okay, seriously, I need to end this off. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye. Don't do it. Ow.